Jared Gray posted this Facebook video on Wednesday. In it, the artist says he has pulled all his inventory from two storefronts to sell and donate 100% of the proceeds to Native American charities because of a tragic story that's been unfolding in Canada over the past two months. The remains of nearly 1,000 people, mostly indigenous children, have been found in unmarked graves at the site of former boarding schools. It's prompted questions and investigations across the country, with many asking about similar schools in the U.S. Our David J. caught up with Gray to find out why this issue means so much to him. After hearing about the atrocities in, uh, in Canada and, and the indigenous uh, children that were found in, in mass graves, I wanted to help any way that I could. Jared Gray is a Little Shell tribal member and is raising money for the National Native American Boarding School Healing Coalition. According to CBS News, as many as 751 unmarked graves have been discovered at a former residential school in Saskatchewan. These children weren't even returned to their homes. They just disappeared and put into an unmarked grave. The reform schools were there to ship natives to, to cut off our braids, get rid of our culture, make us speak English, kind of assimilate into white culture. They tried to erase us. On Thursday, Gray announced he would sell his art online. His friends at the Downtown Billings Alliance helped get him set up for the Strawberry Festival. His heart wanted so badly to do something to help. It's a big deal for us to first off support our family member. Jared is one of the Downtown Billings Alliance family members uh, and he's also supporting his, you know, culture and we're 100% behind that. Many at the crowded Strawberry Festival visited Gray's booth for the cause, the art, or both. All the travertine that I've carved comes from a quarry down in Gardner that the Little Shell just purchased. These colors of stone, specifically, are unique to the one in Gardner, so that you'll never have another piece like it. It's Native American made and it's a culture that was very much what was trying to be eradicated and to be standing here today with thriving members of the Native American culture is very important. It's hard to get the closure that we need for, for the acts that were done upon our people. Thank you so much. In Billings, David J, MTN News.